right, hello everybody. I have returned. We are returned. We are returned. Uh, DLC. So let's do a campaign. Well. Here's my companion. Okay. All these are my children. This one, however, I would rather disown. Let's try this. Ah, I can add these in. I said him. Okay. I guess I ain't got a choice. Oh, okay. I see. A casual call to heroism. How many adventures start thus? The magician. Interesting. For 100 years, I have thought about nothing but the game. Your conversation with the fur trader is interrupted as Metaclip arrives in a flurry. Then, I thought I knew everything about the game. I'm Shut up. Be. be quiet. Now you see before you the Close them out. of my research. I have crafted this game anew. You talk too much. You honestly talk too much. The whispers speak of trouble at the edge of the empire. The town of West Wind is suffering against the blight. Let's find out more. A small garrison is meant to protect, the, meant to be protecting the town, but apparently they are either all dead, or missing, or drunk. All three. Uh, I've traveled far to escape the oppression of the Empire. Uh, West Wind gave me my freedom, and I intend to return the favor. Uh, West Wind sits on the outer edge of the empire while the emperor focuses on the capital. Its nobles and merchants, those of the fringes, are neglected. All right, you return to the market to ask if <coughs> any traders headed to Westwood might need an escort. There are three options food. Uh, do I have any gold? I do. Uh, food wagon headed to a nearby wedding offer to a ride. They give you some food in exchange for not taking you the whole way. Which is what I want. You arrive at the town of Westwind. To defend the town, you'll need to locate as many Empire soldiers as you can before the Blight invades. Giving me Dragon Age vibes. It's too far. Uh, you find it's gone from a loose collection of tribes to something to truly fear. Let us see if the mage can help you here. Oh, co op battle. Is he a bard? If nothing else, I'll get a song out of this. By seeing song, think it fame. There we go. There we go. 
go. Why pay gold when you get to simply slaughter your enemies? Like a compass, it indicates the truth of all directions. Don't I already have a card on blade? But okay. Life itself in exchange for life. As you hike through the mountains one fine day, you come across an injured traveler. Though he is clearly deeply wounded and barely moving, you sense something disturbing about the cloaked figure and approach with caution. You, mortal, come here, the creature commands, his voice rasping. I need sustenance to heal myself, and you will provide it. You draw your weapon, and the beast weakly raises its arms to defend itself. As you lower your blade, he suddenly lunges at you. You will not regret this. Interesting. So he means substance, he meant life force. Commerce thrives in even the most unusual of locations. Hmm. <laughs> the shadow folk appear to have found your trail. You follow frenzied rumors of vampires and werebees to a derelict farm deep in the lowlands. A thin farmer chilling in rocky soil looks up in desperate hope at your approach. Please, our little Timmy's were taken by a monster with bloody claws and gleaming eyes. They came, they came through the walls. She points, shaking her finger at the hills. Sure enough, you find a boy huddled in the back of a menacing cave. As you draw near, a hulking cloak figure emerge from the shadows to surround you. Hero, one of the beasts hiss. We knew you would take this simple bait. Now relinquish your power. Yes, I'm going to battle. I'm glad I focus on healing. I gotta learn to dodge. I got to learn to dodge. I lost too much health. <laughs> the peasant falls to embrace his son. Thank the gods, Timos. Thank the gods. The small family gathers a dusty bundle of what they can in gratitude. A shield in more ways than one. Ooh, and I get some food. Here we begin to see one of the small ways I've changed the game. 
Each challenge differs both in their rules and their objectives. Even those cards which were once the stairs now vary per challenge, as you will see. The West Wind Tower bell chimes feverishly. The town crier bellows. There's corrupted inside the town. They broke through the sewers into the lost lane. Into loose lane. Our brave soldiers have gone down there to sort it out. You arrived at, at, to find weapons, two remaining soldiers bundled at the entrance to its poorest area, Lewis Lane. We cannot let uh, the corruption spread. For the good of the town, we must dispose of anyone who has been tainted even a little. Dragon Age vibes with this whole belighted thing. Oh, I gotta be careful. much of a fight to be honest I guess well, if you rescue the soldiers that'd be the benefit uh, with the corruption removed you're ensure that these soldiers survive to aid the town's defense the soldiers help you scavenge what you can from the remains of the poor souls taken by the corruption for now. Well. They got themselves into this mess. I don't see why you should get them out. Yeah, I'll free all the soldiers. And I'm broke right now anyway, so can't pay my way out. Inventory. Okay, good. I can, in fact, change stuff. Okay. Good, I'm not just stuck with it. Ah, a reward for a job well done. A holy man approaches and greets you warmly. Greeting, friend, you are here. Just as the master said you'd be. By chance, I lie at your disposal. Have you need of any healing? They place themselves in these dire positions. 
and then expect a hero to come rescue them when things become too much. Mm. While patrolling the outskirts of West Wind, you hear the clash of steel and the uh, unmistakable groan of corrupted. Your investigation leads you to a distressed nobleman perched on the roof of his carriage. Thank the gods, I was heading to tea with Duke Gilbert, Gilbert, uh, when we were ambushed. My footman left me here to fight them off, but the brawl has now dispersed to the forest. The noble peers, uh, if you stay here and pet me, I'm gonna go out to the soldiers. I'm helping the soldiers. There's an affection going around and you're talking about going tea time. fun. Corrupt that vanished, no empire soldiers remain. You return to the roof and find only the wreckage of the noble's carriage. Huh, nobody survived. How unfortunate. Ah, equipment. Well, that may help you on the road ahead. give and take. With the current empire, more take than give. So you are... So you are... Everything else I'll keep. Let's buy some food. How much gold do I have? Ten? So let's do that. Buy some healing. And then let's leave. In your life, you will have wandered endless intersections, yet this one sticks with you. Why? What is it in your memory that catches here? Ah, you arrive at a signposts detailing the possible path north and south. Medical sniffs the air. My magical sniffs are pulling me towards the north. It smells like someone's baking cinnamon pie up ahead. Here's a token for you, if you can earn it. Right. I remember this one. I gotta... Now you wager for more than mere success and failure. You choose the very stakes themselves. Why do I keep... <laughs> I keep finding failure. Now your chance presents itself. At last, stand in the defense of the peasantry. What noble traits you display already. Another well. chance to redeem yourself. Let's see how you handle it this time. 
terror blight. Oh goodness. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. I just gotta fight nine people by myself. Well, with my bard at least. Just him now. There we go. A mighty creature of chaos felled by your power. Does it satisfy you? This bloodshed. Not really. Only actually. those you destroy but one simple peasants going about their day. I wish I was like a storyline like look for a cure or something. Anyway, once the corrupted behemoth falls, the rest of the minions flee, their spirits broken. The soldiers erupt in cheers, praising your valor. You can rest until morning, ready to greet the reinforcements with the town already saved. The magician returns to the deck, but now I'm rocking this in music, our stories of fate, folly, and magic. Do not think I'm satisfied with this, but at least we have a place to begin. As you play, you will find more options open to you. Should you find yourself blocked or overly challenged, take the time to explore the board. Unlocking cards will give you options you have not yet considered. Wonderful. All right, so we have finished The Magician, I think this was called. Um, thank you everybody for joining me on this adventure on this chapter um if you liked or disliked um please comment um or subscribe it's up to you this is umi tencho see you all and have a great weekend